Daniel Hardy here live from Las Vegas where SB Nation is taking over NBA Summer League 2019. I'm heading over to UNLV to go see some of my homies here in hot Las Vegas where I'm going to check out some hot Summer League action. Summer League. Oh. Best part about uh, Summer League is meeting all the great folks whose work I read, you know, for SB Nation all around, you know, all the different blogs. All the teams that I've trash talked to be a ghost fit of mine. I get to actually meet those guys and they're, and they're pretty cool. So, uh, some league having the blast. Uh, I'm Brian at Cosmos. I write for Dime and Uproxy and all that. Uh, <laughs> my favorite summer league moment is one that no one's gonna have because it was Grant Williams going up to the mop guy and telling him to go counterclockwise instead of clockwise. <laughs> it's a weird genius. <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping to see him again, but everyone's gonna say Jackson Hayes. That's mine, Grant Williams. I'm uh, Tom, at Tom, not Tom, and my favorite is definitely Iggy Brasdakis taking over as an alpha for New York, hitting a shot to force overtime, and scoring 30 points. And Miles Custis, I write for Blazers Edge. You can find me at Miles Custis on Twitter. Uh, my favorite summer league moment this year, outside of watching the Blazers, I was checking out Taco Fall for Boston. Um, he had some sweet dunks, and it's just, he energizes the arena because of his height. He comes in there, the crowd goes wild. Whenever he gets sat back down, the crowd starts to boo like crazy. That was a lot of fun to see him. My Twitter handle is at Jack Frank underscore JJF. I write for Liberty Ballers. I think my favorite play so far from Summer League is Isaiah Hardenstein uh, tried to bully his way to the rim on a drive and just shoved his defender out of the way for a dunk and they called an offensive foul. And uh, he was just completely dismayed and understand basically why, why or how an offensive foul works and was everyone in the gym realized it was an offensive foul, but it was just a great, great, hilarious play with a seven footer uh, bowling of like, like a six five guy. Thomas Bevilacqua, uh, my Twitter handle is TH Bevilacqua. I write for Golden State of Mind, and my uh, favorite summer league moment was uh, Alan Smilajic's uh, two uh, highlight worthy plays at the end of a late night game against the Los Angeles Lakers that uh, got a sparse uh, Thomas and Mack Center crowd. Uh, everybody went home, but uh, an impressive block and then an impressive dunk. It got all the people there, including myself, uh, off our seat. So that was my favorite summer league moment. I'm Harrison Fagan, and my Twitter app is at HMFagan, F-A-I-G-E-N. Uh, I think my favorite moment of Summer League actually had nothing to do with the Lakers. Their team was kind of forgettable this year for the most part. It was, I was courtside for Raptors Spurs yesterday, and there was, I forget, it was something Eubanks on the Spurs got a rebound and swung through and hit a Raptors player in the place where you do not want to be hit if you're a guy. And he just went straight to the ground. One of the Raptors teammates was ready to fight him. He, he looks at the ref and he's like, you got to do something about that. And then he looks at the, um, he looks at Eubanks and he's like, what the f is wrong with you? And he went to go fight him. They separated the whole thing. And then when they were showing the replay as the referees were reviewing it, it was like, you saw the guy swing through and the entire crowd, you could tell every single male member in there like, felt that pain as well. And uh, there was just this like, oh, like through all throughout. And so that was probably my favorite moment of Summer League. I would imagine it is not that Raptors player. My Twitter handle is at Rich Homie Flom. I write for Clips Nation. And my favorite moment of Summer League so far was uh, Fiondu Capangeli, who's the Clippers first round draft pick, uh, nailing two threes in a row. Uh, he's 6'10", he's super athletic plays with a lot of energy and he can hit threes. Uh, Clippers fans love him after years of having big men who can't shoot outside of 10 feet. And yeah, they're really excited, probably too excited, but it was great to see. And I gotta hope that summer league shooting translates into the regular season, we will see. At Brady Cloud for NBA, right for Golden State of Mind. My favorite summer league moment was Mitchell Robinson attempting an alley-oop dunk where he caught the ball like below his hip but with full extension behind him from like 10 feet out. He missed the dunk uh, but it was the perfect encapsulation of Summer League where he tried something that no human should ever try. Still almost did it. Uh, seemingly did not care that he missed uh, and it was more remarkable than every other dunk that I have seen in Summer League other than Jackson Hayes is the true answer to this question. Thanks guys, those are all great responses. You know, as for me, Daniel Hardy of Golden State of Mind, Twitter handle dhardy underscore SBN. My favorite Summer League moment was Jackson Hayes posterizing that jabroni under the rim. Oh my goodness, 
that was crazy. It was like Tom Chambers with an afro with a tomahawk jam. And then <laughs> screamed. Ah, it was fantastic. Um, yeah, so uh, Daniel Hardy signing out for my first Summer League experience, Summer League 2019. We're going to the mine and uh, hopefully we can do it again in 2020. Stay gold blooded, folks. I'm out because it's about 4,000 degrees and I can't take it no more. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Back to the bay.